Eight minutes into the flight, the engines are now throttling back to maintain the structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. We're standing by for the main engine cutoff confirmation from the booster officer here in Mission Control. Main engine cutoff confirmed, 8 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Separation of the fuel tank has also been confirmed. The crew handheld photography setup will be underway shortly with a plus X maneuver that's managed by the commander on board, Rick Sterko. Atlantis uh, following away. You can see the thruster jets firing as the orbiter is being maneuvered for the uh, handheld photography. Atlantis, Houston, we show a nominal MECO. Ohms 1 is not required. Atlantis' uh, climb to orbit uh, was seen live by the Expedition 15 crew, keenly uh, interested in the uh, arrival of Atlantis, uh, bringing a new crew member to join uh, two of the Expedition 15 crew members, uh, while uh, the third, Sonny Williams, will be uh, replacing Clay Anderson, who will take her spot as part of the Expedition 15 crew. Uh, we did have television throughout uh, Atlantis' climb to orbit, so that uh, uh, vision at uh, television was sent up to the crew and they were able to watch it on a laptop computer. Station Houston on space to ground. Congratulations and thank you very, very much about this movie. It was very great for Sunny and Sunny. It's very happy. He, she is very happy and we are very happy for Sunny. Excellent. We're thrilled to see that her ride is well on its way up there. And uh, if you guys are ready, we will take down the video and the yeah, space around to come. Okay, Dana, I think we're ready. And uh, once again, thank you very much. It was just amazing to be up here watching Atlantis uh, take off. It was beautiful. And uh, we're ready for our visitors. Well, actually, I think we need to clean up a little bit, but we're almost ready for our visitors. Woohoo! Well, get ready. They're on their way. This is Mission Control Houston. We're looking at live television pictures as uh, crew members aboard the Space Shuttle Atlantis continue with their power up and check out of the robotic arm known as Kenner Arm 2 aboard the shuttle. Pilot Lee Archambault and Mission Specialist Pat Forrester scheduled to be working on this remote manipulator system checkout, maneuvering the arm out of its cradles. Lee Archambault and Pat Forrest are operating the robotic arm in this checkout and uh, payload base survey activity. Houston, I uh, just want you to verify that you're seeing a picture of Pat's down like in uh, the two on the uh, blanket. Thanks for asking, CJ. I should have told you, yeah, we are looking at it. Uh, it's crystal clear. Thank you. Okay, good deal. Doesn't look too bad, but we knew uh, everybody want to look at it down there. And Danny is shooting the pictures as we speak while the uh, sunlight is still here. All right, uh, great work. This is a view from the end effector camera on the end of the robotic arm of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, taking a look at that insulation blanket that has uh, popped up at the intersection of the insulation blanket and the uh, thermal protection system tiles on the left or port orbital maneuvering system pod at the back of the shuttle. This is Miss Control Houston. This is some uh, recorded video from uh, earlier in Atlantis' climb into orbit, a view of the external tank as it's separated from the shuttle. Imagery specialists will use this data on the condition of the tank following its separation uh, about eight and a half minutes after launch uh, to uh, look for any uh, missing insulation that could have uh, popped off and connected with any of the thermal protection systems aboard the shuttle during launch. This external tank went through a lot of repairs on the ground following a freak hailstorm in February that delayed the launch of Atlantis until uh, just today. Insulation repairs were made, inspected, uh, and re-inspected prior to today's launch. Hey, 
say Kevin is uh, brewing on uh, what you saw just there, uh, just briefly was uh, Pat and myself just finishing up the RMS operations before. Here's one. Swanson, you just saw a shot of me uh, putting the PTCs up and uh, working. It went great. It's a pleasure to be here. And this is Daniel Levis, and uh, we're setting up for uh, setting, sending down to some uh, ET photos, e ET video from uh, our ascent, uh, shortly after our ascent. And uh, we're setting up uh, some more photo TV equipment over on the starboard side, on the port side, on the starboard side. Just before that was me, Pat Forster. We uh, were able to check the arm out tonight to get in preparation for our inspections tomorrow. Here's CJ. Uh, CJ again, just checking things in the uh, flight plan, making sure we're not missing something. And there's Clay and uh, Bruce double checking the flight plan to make sure I didn't miss something. So I appreciate that. Also, Clay saved me a big harassment with CSACP. He uh, did that for me. I really appreciated it. Just uh, panning around, Danny's got the uh, SSV uh, cables uh, there, and he ended up doing that one too, which is another big uh, uh, good moment for us as we finished up the uh, flight day one activities. Crew's doing really well up here on orbit. Uh, we feel well prepared to uh, finish up the mission. Thanks a lot. Produced by Tubin Mofo 2.